Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my review of IT. Of course, IT is, uh, has kind of been kind of the talk of, you know, the internet and pretty much the box office, you know, with how well it's doing there. Um, I've seen this back on, uh, Sunday. I've just been kind of busy and trying to keep other things in order, but I definitely wanted to do a video on IT because, uh, well, you know, it, it's pretty hyped up, you know, it's pretty hyped up, and now it's making this massive killing at the box office, which I'm really happy about, um, because I think that's totally just a good sign for, uh, you know, horror movies still being able to do well if they're, uh, done as properly as, uh, this one was. And, yeah, spoilers, you know, spoiler alert, and why well, I just said there's a spoiler there, because, yeah, I like the movie. I liked it quite a bit, actually. Um... I did do a review on the uh, 1990 uh, miniseries uh, a little while ago. I, I'll probably provide a link uh, at the end of this video to that if you guys want to hear more of my end-up thoughts on that. Um, you know, and uh, you know, we'll talk more about like Tim Curry and uh, Bill Skarsgård later. Um, but as much as I appreciated uh, Tim Curry's energy in the role. Um, yeah, I, always, I thought the rest of uh, the miniseries was, you know, kind of underwhelming and sort of uh, lacking and just sort of uh, bland, um, honestly. Um, but with this, uh, I guess I'm very, very pleased with it. I knew it was going to be good or, you know, fine, but I didn't expect it to be, uh, you know, one of the better horror, you know, type films I've seen in some time. Um, nor did I expect it to be as good with, uh, you know, the, our regular characters, the kids in this movie. Um, you know, I thought, you know, the kids, uh, part of the story of the miniseries is definitely the better part of that version as well. Um, but this one, I think, actually nailed it even more. Uh, why don't we just talk about the, uh, cast right away. Um, I thought all the kids did really, really, uh, well. Um, you know, from, uh, you know, Jaden, you know, Libher, you know, playing Bill, you know, sort of our leader of the group, the kid who loses his brother, you know, Georgie at the beginning of the movie, um, which we'll talk more about, you know, those scenes in a couple minutes here. Um, I thought he was fine, um, you know, as well as, you know, Mike, you know, uh, Chosen Jacobs, all the others. Um, but I feel like the, uh, my favorite two of the group anyway, or who I thought actually stood out the most, um, I think were uh, Sophia Lillis as uh, you know Beverly Marsh. I thought she is actually really good. She's really expressive, you know, with the way uh, you know like her uh, mannerisms. I think I didn't really expect her to be that good. Um, and I also uh, liked Ben in particular, you know, played by Jeremy Ray Taylor. I thought he was uh, you know pretty easy to uh, like as well. Um, you know, I know they gave some like Mike's traits to Ben apparently. Um, but, you know, I still thought the characters worked really well, and they all had their place in the group. Um, although I feel like maybe Mike could have been a little bit more well in it, into the group, but that's just, like, a really, really minor thing for me anyway. Um, but I thought all the kids did a good job, and they really did a nice job of uh, fleshing out each of their stories and sort of perspectives. Like, uh, one little gripe I have that I guess is that it felt a little bit tedious as they showed, you know, Pennywise starting to, you know, terrorize all of them one by one. Which I get is, you know, somewhat necessary, but it did feel a little bit repetitive. Um, you know, just seeing, like, uh, one scene for each of them of, you know, Penny, uh, uh Penny, <laughs> um, Pennywise, uh, you know, lurking, um, or, you know, freaking them out in some way. It felt a little bit, you know, uh, too continuous, I guess. Um, but I get that it was necessary, but like I said, the kids all did a really nice job, um, with my favorite being Beverly and Ben. Um, like I said, they fleshed them all out really well, um, except, you know, for maybe, uh, you know, Mike, I think, I, like I said, could have used more time, as well as maybe, um, uh, yeah, I forget the kid's name, but the guy with the, uh, curly hair there, you know, on the uh, far left, if you can see that, um, yeah, I didn't really, I guess I didn't really care for him that much, but, you know, they are all fine, and like I said, Ben and uh, Beverly really stood out for me, um, they definitely, have, the cast definitely had a lot of chemistry, um, as well as, yeah, I, I can't believe I almost forgot to, uh, you know, mention this guy specifically, uh, Finn Wolfhard, you know, I thought he was, uh, really good as well, he's sort of like the comic relief of the group, um, of course a lot of people know him now for playing the main, one of the main characters in Stranger Things on Netflix, and it was really nice to see him here too. Um, 
Like, you know, then there's the whole love triangle between, you know, uh, Beverly and, uh, you know, Bill and Ben, um, which I thought was alright. I mean, you know, kind of expected it, I guess. Uh, but it felt a little bit odd with the way they did it at times. I know there's, like, a controversial scene from the, you know, books in the sewers, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, but Beverly, she unfortunately lives with a very abusive father and also has a reputation from some of the, you know, pricks around the school. Um, but when she, uh, you know, when Ben, uh, you know, she has this thing for Bill, actually, but she gets this uh, secret admirer sort of uh, poem from Ben, um, and she's hoping it's Bill. Um, but when Ben actually kisses her to sort of bring her out what Pennywise had her going through, uh, you know, Beverly sort of returns that, but then at the end of the movie, you see her and Bill share a kiss as well. Um, so it's odd that she's sort of, you know, playing both of them like that, and maybe, like, like her slightly less, um, I don't know, it just, it was kind of confusing, contradicting with her at times as far as that goes, but, you know, it's fine, you know, because, uh, you know, you know how kids are these days, I guess. Um, but I nonetheless still think Sophia Lewis did a really nice job. Um, I thought Ben was especially likable. Um, so yeah, why don't we why don't we talk about uh, you know the main main standout of the movie? Of course, uh, Bill Skarsgård um, playing Pennywise, who I thought was just excellent. Um, like I said, I did really appreciate Tim Curry's energy put into the role in the miniseries. But I thought Bill Skarsgård was uh, far superior in this version. Pennywise was uh, you know uh, quite a bit more memorable, I think. Um, you know, yeah, you could argue that the whole miniseries is a little bit lighter, I guess, um, and that maybe Tim Curry is playing you know, like a lighter version of the character that's supposed to lure you in a little bit easier instead of being like immediately creepy. But nonetheless, I still think Bill Skarsgård he just added more to the role and really uh, solidified it with his uh, mannerisms, especially. I love that uh, opening sequence of, of course, Georgie going, you know, <laughs> you know, his boat, you know, losing his boat, going to the sewer and everything. Um, you know, then when uh, Pennywise does the pop, pop, pop thing, then you know he makes uh, Georgie laugh, and then he just gives off this blank, you know, stare, or, like he almost like starts drooling and just like starts staring at him. It's really, you know, creepy for sure. Um, so he had such a, I thought he just had such a good mix of, you know, that type of energy as well as just like a more of a menace than what Tim Curry's Pennywise did. Which, like I said, I think is a combination of both performance and just the style and uh, writing of the movie. Um, but yeah, Bill Skarsgård definitely knocked it out of the park, and I can't wait to see more of him in the sequel. Um, yeah, so definitely really liked him, he really stood out. Um, so yeah, and, and the rest of the movie, like I said, was... Uh, I really liked it all around. Um, I just really liked the tone and the vibe and the you know, atmosphere of the movie. Um, it was uh, it gave a very dark and sort of like gloomy feel, sort of like uh, you know Stranger Things. You could say are very much like a Stephen King story, of course, um, which of course uh, Stranger Things is definitely inspired by. Um, so I've, I you know I love the tone to it. Uh, like that we spent more time with each of the kids, you know, to uh, actually get behind them a little bit more. I mean, there's not there's not a whole lot of violence in the movie, um, you know, except you know spoilers when Georgia gets his arm torn off. Um, that is you know kind of a shock at first, you know, just to see you know something happening like that to a kid. But the truth is, you know, honestly, they won't be safe in you know any types of situations like this. But it definitely cemented it. But it doesn't you know like focus in on the violence too much. You know, it doesn't rely on it. A lot of it very much is just like the suspense and the creepiness building of you know, Pennywise stalking all of them. Um, and I think it did that really well. Um, you know, there's, there's more I could definitely talk about. I also like how it was shot. I liked the uh, music, the uh, score of the movie, especially when they're uh, you know, swimming. I thought it was really nice to really feel a sense that they're you know, really close, all really close as friends. We definitely did that well. I know Stephen King himself said he was shocked by how good the movie was, so I think that's a, that's a good thing. Um, you know, definitely looking forward to the sequel, which is uh, you know pretty certainly you know pretty much uh, certain to happen at this point. Um, I also thought the you know, I'm not going to look at the name right now, but the kid who played the main bully in the movie, he was also fairly you know creepy and that sort of uh, menacing as well, I guess. Um, Oh yeah, and I also liked uh, seeing Nightmare on Elm Street 5, you know, on the theater there, you know, in town, that was cool. 
Um, of course, being a big uh, Freddy fan, you know, Robert England's uh, signature somehow, you know, from a convention I went to. Um, it was cool to see that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, so I thought it was just an excellent adaption of the uh, story. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've read the book myself. You know, I, I don't think I've ever read it all, actually, to be honest. Um, but from what I've read and from what I've seen as far as, like, articles comparing it online, I think this might actually be the best version of the story we've uh, had, um, just in terms of uh, writing, in terms of uh, you know, the way the characters are, the way Pennywise is presented. I think this is you know, the best version we've had. Um, but uh, yeah, so if I had to rate it, you know, I'm definitely really debating here. I mean, like I said, Pennywise, he's just even more, he's just an even more memorable character to me now in horror. Um, he just looks creepier, he has a good mix of uh, sort of uh, levity and, uh, you know, this, this like, menace. Um, you know, still appreciate Tim Curry. You know, he, he was a standout in an otherwise kind of underwhelming uh, series. Um, but definitely Bill Skarsgård. You know, the Skarsgård family has a lot of good actors, by the way. You know, we got Bill now, he got uh, Alexander Skarsgård, you know, who I'm not as crazy about as others, but, you know, he has his place. Um, and uh, Gustav Skarsgård, who plays Floki on Vikings, great show by the way. Um, so this whole family is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I had to rate it, I'm debating between an A- minus and an A. Um, you know, I could probably bump it to an A, I guess. But like I said, I had some, I had some like this little minor problems I mentioned throughout, but nothing uh, really too bad. Um, you know, maybe it was slightly long, I guess. You know, it's a little over two hours. Um, it felt a little long, but it definitely did not drag like the miniseries did. So I, I'm glad they're splitting it up into two movies, of course. You know, that's definitely the obvious move there. Um, so yeah, I definitely really enjoyed it, though. Definitely going to be buying it when it comes out. So uh, yeah, probably one of my favorite horror movies I've seen in a while, too, along with like The Witch and Howl and some of the others I've done recently. Um, but yeah, so follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.